boys and girls that Easy has met on Omegle and introduced to the Discord. Rory, whatever the other girl's name was, whoever the f*** Easy brings into the Supreme World through the Omegle uh, sponsorships that he does. Today, I want to go over the Supreme Week 16 drop list with you guys. Yes, it is official. Supreme has announced. Well, not really Supreme. It's actually drops by Jay. I don't know how this man obtains his information, but as you guys know, that is the source for all the Supreme news. He has blessed our corneas, our retinas, our spectacles, not really spectacles that I don't even have my spectacles on me, but whatever. He has blessed whatever visual means of communication you obtain over your eyeballs with the Supreme drop list. A lot of people might see this and look at it as a brick week. There are some pieces to go for. I'm going to go over each of these pieces. That being said, this drop list is looking a little light. I believe there are 11 items on it. If there are any updates, I will update you guys on my Instagram. My Instagram is at the Starlife. It's T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. Ooh, I'm getting good. to be somewhere on the screen. And in the description down below, I have been taking some photos with some of the new items from the Supreme season. For example, I just posted a picture with the all black MLB Varsity, the contrast Supreme Carpenter pants. I also posted a piece with the Paisley Grid Chinos. You guys know my pants collection going crazy. I got... I mean, you guys have been seeing me week to week. If you guys have been watching the live cops, I've been taking nothing but W's. So I do have a lot of items that I will post some photos of. I'll get some photos up so that way you guys can get some detailed looks at these pieces as well. So definitely follow me over on Instagram. Not to mention, I will update you guys on the news as I get it in. But yeah, that'll be on the screen and in the description down below. Of course, I do want to say thank you to everyone that supports me. I seriously cannot say thank you enough. Everyone has been killing with the support, with the likes. Obviously, if you want to see a live cop, if you guys enjoy these dropless videos, smash the like button down below right now. But of course, everyone that likes the videos, everyone that subscribed with notifications, on and as soon as I post spam the comments show some love in the comments it really does help me out I'm not gonna ask you to break a record because I really don't think it's possible we can even break a record on this video I think the record's like a thousand likes in one hour and we've done over a thousand comments several times at this point which is insane so thank you everyone that shows love and supports your boy on YouTube the first piece I want to discuss is this nylon supreme team jacket <sighs> what a letdown so the estimated retail is 138 these retails could change but that is the estimated retail that we have we've been seeing a lot of these estimated retails change when the actual drop list comes but if these estimated retails are accurate I'm not mad at the prices 138 for this jacket is extremely fair that being said I'm not a fan of this jacket it is going to be a nylon material with I believe some kind of cotton interior why'd I say interior like that lining whatever anyways the graphic says world famous supreme team on the back it is printed of course it is in some sort of old English font which I love however that being said it's printed I wish it was tackle twill or I wish it was actually just a different fabric like a canvas or a denim uh, but I believe at that point they probably would have raised the price point 138 is not bad but honestly I am not gonna go for this for resale if it does have any resale it's not gonna be much and I think it will probably sell for right around retail after fees for most sellers I think that people will end up losing money on this jacket personally I don't plan on going for it but that's just me next up we have the warm-up hooded sweatshirt this piece is cool it's decent I actually don't mind it it's got a small little supreme spell out between the titties however that being said it is a cut and sew sweatshirt so this piece could be made in China or Portugal I try to talk about where the hoodies are made so that way you guys can not kind of get surprised when you get it in. I see a lot of people think that every hoodie is made in Canada and people will hit me up like, oh, is this fake because it was made in China? No, not always. There are hoodies that Supreme will outsource to other countries. Supreme gets their traditional heavyweight cotton like box logo hoodies, I guess, and other more traditional hoodies made in Canada. And even some of their other blanks are made in Canada as well, but there are a lot of times when they do these cut and sew hoodies or if they do over dyed hoodies or uh, all over subliminal dyed uh, sub sublimation dyed hoodies or crewnecks or whatever. If it's kind of unique with the manufacturing process, sometimes they'll get it made in another country, uh, usually one of those two countries. In the past, it's been China, for example. We saw a cut and sew hoodie that had Supreme spelled out across this arm, across the chesticles, down this arm, and that was made in China. A lot of the hoodies this season, like the Bling hooded sweatshirt and the Ramel Z hooded sweatshirt, were made in Portugal. But nonetheless, I personally do not plan on going for this piece. I believe the retail will be right around 158 I just think the colorways are not that special to me and I don't see this piece really reselling for much or even being worth my time to go for. Honestly, this hoodie probably could have done a lot better if the colorways were fired because like I said, I don't mind the actual design, but these colorways, uh, absolute garbanzo beans. Now, moving on, we do have a piece that I would recommend going for. This is the Naomi Crew Neck. This comes in three colors. So one, there's not a lot of options, but also this piece is just absolutely gorgeous. Because it's a crew neck and not a hoodie, it still might be made in Canada. I'm not quite sure. I believe 
believe it depends on how they do the dyeing process. The reason they are calling this the Naomi crew neck is because the graphic is actually Naomi Campbell. And this is one of those pieces that it's like if you guys did not listen to my previous videos and join the premium discord, which by the way, I will leave a link to the premium discord in the description down below. So that way you do not have this problem in the future. The premium discord is a great way to purchase slots and get slots for Supreme. I say slots a lot because I do a lot of reselling and I focus on Supreme. That being said, there's a lot of other ways to make money. My man Edwin Barahona took $25 and he was actually doing sports betting. He flipped that, made $90. And I think he's only been in for a month. It, this is not just like a Supreme cook group. Like that is just, to me, kind of played out at this point. I always tell you guys, Supreme is not the best way to make money if you want to make money online. There's so many other avenues to make money online. That being said, this is one of those items that you guys, if you, for whatever reason, are not in the Premium Discord, you should join the Premium Discord. This is one of those items I would recommend running slots for if you are in the Premium Discord. I don't think it's going to have crazy resale, but it will resale. It's going to be an item that will go up over time, and I do think this piece will be worth going after. It's a really safe bet. Um, it's one of those pieces that you know, no matter what, will go for at least retail, but more than likely, you'll be able to make some money and flip it for a little bit more. I'll leave a link to the Premium Discord down in the description below. If you guys have not signed up for that, I'm telling you, it's really easy to make your money back. There's a ton of ways to make money in there. It's not just a Supreme Cook group. It is so much more than that. But anyways, this piece right here, like I said, is called the Naomi Crewneck because the photo is from Naomi Campbell. Or, sorry, the photo is of Naomi Campbell. The photo is from Pamela Hansen. And I actually looked at the origins of this photo. I could not find the exact photo online. However, I did find a very similar photo. And I believe this photo set is from a French Vogue magazine in 1990. For those of you guys that are not familiar with who Naomi Campbell is, she's an extremely famous model. I believe she was born in like the 1970s. But she is definitely like one of the top models in the world. The reason I believe this is from that same photo set as the image that I found online is because uh, the vibes are really similar. One, uh, the exact same hairstyle. Two, if you look in the photo on the crew neck, she is nude and she has some kind of uh, like blanket or sheet wrapped around her. And in the other photo that I found from that photo set, she is also nude with the sheet wrapped around her. So I'm assuming it's the exact same photo set. I'm assuming that's Supreme's reference. Now, this image is a little bit unique because it was altered by an artist that Supreme has collaborated with many times in the past, Mark Gonzalez or Gons. One of the famous Supreme spellouts where it's spelled S-U-P-R-E-A-M. And a lot of other images over the years have been created for Supreme by Mark Gonzalez. Now, Gons is an extremely influential person in the skateboard community. Uh, he actually founded blind and on top of that if you guys have seen supreme has created certain pieces where they do the supreme spell out exactly how they did the blind skateboard spell out and that was created by gons there's a lot of different pieces that gons has created over the years for supreme he's done a lot of artwork for supreme and this is one of those pieces where he kind of altered it he did some artwork he i believe he adds some flames but there's also like a little like almost silhouette of a girl in the bottom left of the crew neck, I believe. And it looks like this individual silhouette, this girl silhouette, her hair almost looks like flames. Really unique piece. I do like this piece a lot. I kind of want to see what the back of it looks like. You can see some more drawings on the sleeve. And I just think overall, this is going to be a piece that I, I think it's gonna be worth your time to go for. I'm probably gonna go for a manual one. I'll probably run some slots on the premium discord as well. So the base colors are black and white, green and white, pink and white. And then they have different colors for the hair or flames, which is blue, pink, and orange. Personally, I'm probably gonna go for like the black, white, and blue color the most. That's the color that I want the most. That being said, I'll probably run my slots for any color and just pray for the best because um, I'll be happy with anything I get. I do think that the black and white one with the blue like hair or flames will be one of the first ones to sell out. I could be wrong. The pink one I think might be second. I think the green might be last. Who knows? We will see tomorrow morning. But that being said, this is definitely one of those items that I personally plan on going for and hopefully I can acquire a couple of these. And I would be happy if I get two, maybe three, maybe four. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna go for as many these as possible. This is the main item I'm going to go for. I do think you should go for one, but I don't want to say that should be the first item for everyone because I think some people would rather go for the umbrella. However, before we get to the umbrella, let's talk about some other pieces. We do have this button up right here and you guys already, first of all, Look at the side pockets, man. Look at the side pockets, baby. Perfect place to store the condoms before you hit the retirement home. You already know the old ladies, the granny's gonna love me when I pull up straight dipped in this piece. I actually do fuck with this piece really tough. I don't know if I'm gonna go for it because my like retirement home pimp and granny attire has been so extensive this season. I've been copying a lot of different knits and a lot of different button ups that I just personally feel like, uh, I, I just feel like I don't need that many, uh, and I don't know, man. I love this style, but I already have so many pieces, so I'm probably going to pass. However, I do think this is a really dope personal piece, but for resale, 
nah. Next up we have the Overdyed Pocket Tee. This comes in a plethora of colors. Once again, I do not really care about this piece. I don't plan on going for it. It's going to be a premium tee, so the retail will probably be right around $70. It has a classic logo on the pocket. It's an Overdyed Tee. It also has this weird camo that I'm not a fan of at all. It looks like moldy bread. I've said that before. They did some hoodies and some sweatshorts in the same color. This shit's trash. I don't plan on going for it. I love the classic logo. I just don't care about having a pocket on my... I, I don't even know if people use those pockets. I haven't seen anyone under the age of 70 use a pocket on a pocket tee. You have the soccer shirt, v-neck thing, and soccer shorts to match. Um, no. Maybe like in Europe these shorts might go because I know how much you guys like soccer or sorry football however the fuck you guys say it. i don't know all i know is that uh for me personally not a vibe maybe my boy has it will cop this maybe my man royce the five nine will cop this i don't know one of y'all could potentially cop this over in europe all i know is for me personally i'm not going for either of these but supreme did not want to leave the american sports enthusiast out we do have this supreme mesh t-shirt that has a somewhat collegiate uh supreme font it's called like a dazzle mesh shirt i don't know where the dazzle's from i don't know if it's like shiny or some shit this is once again a premium tee it's gonna be a little bit more money i just oh got a sneeze coming not to mention also before the fourth of july hits they made sure to drop these shorts my man andrew and easy are just jumping up in celebration so that way them and all the homies chad brad uh what's i don't know some other bro names i always forget maybe nathaniel i feel like that could be a good bro name i don't know anyways all of them are going to be jumping for joy rejoicing that they are finally dropping the american flag shorts just in time for fourth of july so that way they can smoke their dad's cuban cigars wearing these american flag shorts a nice little polo button up that's way too small for them but that way it shows off the gains and do cake stands all over the back of their father's lake house's deck these are the absolute essential for all my bros out there if you are a bro i got nothing but love for you make sure you acquire these and i expect to see some photos of a lot of my bros out there doing cake stands or some sort of activities in these 4th of July shorts. Full send, baby. Anyways, next up, we do have this towel, which, I mean, I guess my bros can cop this. Um, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of this graphic, though. We want to be known as Supreme. I hate this graphic. They did this on a hoodie. I'm not a fan of it at all. I do not plan on going for it at all. However, there is another piece that I do recommend going for, or I do plan on going for after I cop my Naomi Crewnecks, which is, of course, the umbrella. Now, I normally do not care about umbrellas. Also, this umbrella has, like, some kind of cock on it or like clear plastic dildo uh someone explained to me what that was i think drew explained to me what that was i think he said it was like to wrap it um kind of like a trojan condom attached to the umbrella i have no idea all i know is that this does protect you very similar to a condom it keeps uh any liquids from surpassing and uh falling onto you and this graphic is whatever it's like this checkered pattern but the biggest reason i do think this could potentially have some resales because if this retail is accurate of 32 dollars that is absolutely exceptional that's a really reasonable retail for an umbrella I've seen a lot of shoe or brand sell umbrellas for even double that price, so I'm actually kind of shocked and somewhat even hesitant to believe it. But if that retail is accurate, like I said, that might be one of the items that you want to go for, especially if you don't have as much capital to invest uh, into like an item like a crew neck sweater. The umbrella is supposedly 32, so I'm not quite sure, but personally, my main goal is to go for this crew neck. I want to get as many of these crew necks as possible. If there are still some umbrellas left, then yes, I will go cop some of those too. But my main focus is this Naomi crew neck. I don't really plan on going for much else. So yeah, like I said, if you guys want to see a live cop of me trying to get this Naomi crew neck, I hope I can cop. Make sure you smash the like button down below. Show some love in the comments. Subscribe and turn on post notifications if you like these videos. If for whatever goddamn reason you do not follow me on Instagram, change your life. Follow me on Instagram to star life. T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. It's going to be somewhere on the screen in the description down below. I got a ton of fit pics coming up with pieces this season. And on top of that, I got a ton of fire planned for this supreme off season so definitely i'm telling you you do not want to miss it follow me on instagram and of course last thing i gotta say is if for whatever reason you are not in the discord check out the discord i'm telling you what's gonna end up happening is you guys are gonna see me take w's and then they're going to announce some collaborations and then you're gonna see me cook and then you're gonna think like damn i could have cooked if only if i was in the premium and then it's just like bro just join the premium look i know that this week is like it's okay not to mention it's a little bit late so some of you guys might even be seeing this right before the drop actually happens but what's gonna end up happening you guys are gonna wait and then you guys are gonna see me continue to cop you guys saw me cop the whole way in fact hold on before i go Literally, thanks to the premium, I got these in a size 30. Size 30. In fact, I, 
I got like three pairs of these in a size 30. I just wanted to make sure that I got these. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of these and uh, I got a lot of other heat. So I'm telling you, I do have an unboxing plan. If you guys want to see that unboxing, I'll show you guys how these fit. Make sure you uh, like the video. But I'm telling you, join the premium before it's too late, if you, especially if you've been taking L's this season. And like I said, it's not only for Supreme, it's for a plethora of other good Supreme sneakers. They have sports betting, price errors, all sorts of shit. So definitely check out the premium Discord. I will leave that link down below along with my Instagram and uh, yeah, that's that's basically those are the only two links below premium discord Instagram go check them out Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart as always keep on the star and peace of mind out <laughs> Deuces. Same bitch holla when you feel this Fresh up out the county tell them hoes to get up on me I was in that motherfucker with some killers All right guys, this feels really intimate because I'm in my bed because I um, my cameras plugged into the wall anyways uh last little update for those of you guys that made it all the way through the video thank you i appreciate it please comment syphilis down in the comments if you made it all the way through i also want to say there's one other supreme item dropping there's a hat like i said earlier in the video my recommendation my final recommendation i think is go for the naomi crew neck if you take an l then maybe go for the uh umbrella the only downside of the umbrella is the fact that you're gonna have to do shipping and taxes. i don't know. anyways that's my plan personally much love i don't think we have images of the hat if we do it'll be somewhere on the screen but thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate all the people that support my videos like bro, all like jokes and all the other shit aside I would not be shit without you guys so thank you I appreciate it uh, sorry for recording this in my this feels weird okay I'm just gonna go peace <laughs>